Here's a classic pulley problem. We have a pulley with uh, two wheels. The bigger wheel has a diameter of two feet right here. The smaller wheel has a diameter of six inches. So the first thing you should do is probably convert two feet to inches. So let's call it just 24 inches so we don't get confused later with that. So the, um, it's, it says that the uh, angular speed of the bigger pulley is 60 revolutions per minute and the question is what's the angular speed in radians per second of the smaller pulley? Well, Here's what we're going to do, a little game plan. We're going to take revolutions per minute and convert that to radians per second for the bigger pulley and then we're going to uh, figure out how that's related to the radians per second of the smaller pulley and let's in fact let's figure that out first let's do a little side work before we even get started so here's uh, the formula for linear speed the linear speed is equal to the radius times the angular speed in radians per time and the way we're going to find out how the the um, angular speeds are related to each other of the big the big um, wheel and the small wheel and my pulley is we're going to recognize that the linear speed of the of the actual um, rope itself or the belt I should say the linear speed of the big pulley and the linear speed of the smaller pulley have to be equal to each other so since that's true the radius of the big pulley the linear speed of the big pulley is equal to the radius of the big uh, wheel is equal to the radius of the big wheel times the angular velocity of the big wheel and likewise with the small wheel and so when we set them equal to each other we have the radius of the big wheel is 12 the angular speed which we haven't found yet uh, WB equals the radi uh, radius of the smaller wheel which is 3 was it 6? yeah 6 was the diameter so the radius is 3 again these are in inches times the uh, angular speed of that wheel so now if I divide both sides by 3 I find that 4 times the angular speed of the big wheel is equal to the angular speed of the small wheel so and that makes sense if you think about uh, what's happening here the angular speed, th this thing is going to be going um, a lot slower. The angular speed of the bigger wheel is a lot slower than the small wheel. The small wheel is just going to be flying. As the big wheel goes one revolution, it's going to do a lot more. And so uh, that's what I've, the relationship right there is. It's four times uh, the angular speed of the uh, four times the angular speed of the big wheel equals the angular speed of the small wheel. So now that I've determined that, let's find uh, what the speed is uh, in radians per, per second of the large wheel in our pulley. So to do this, we can use a formula, or you can just think logically through 60 revolutions per minute equals how many radians per second well let's convert minutes to seconds so one minute equals 60 seconds so fortunately those 60 and 60 are going to cancel as well as the minute and the minute and one revolution I'm going to put that in the bottom one revolution equals uh, how many radians well there's two pi radians in one re revolution so 2 pi radians and so you'll see what happens is let me go ahead and give me give myself some more room here what what will happen is everything cancels out nicely so you just have uh, revolutions cancel out you have 2 pi radians per second so this is going through two pi radians in every second. In other words, one revolution per second, which we knew that since it was 60 revolutions per minute, it's one revolution per second. So two pi radians per second, and now if you remember our conversion factor, that was this. So that's two pi 
radians per second, and I have to multiply that by 4, so that would be 8 pi. 8 pi radians per second is the angular speed of the small wheel.